Find her place somewhere full of love and grace. I dream of fields with a cool ocean breeze, a home for my own family. When I got my wish, I pinched myself to make sure this home was real. They sent for a boy, but then I was a girl. My dreaming had just let me down again. If I came as a queen with long ebony hair, then maybe they'd feel I was worth it for them. I'm a good worker in spite of my talking. I've longed to belong here for all of my life. Don't send me away without seeing what I see. Everything I touch is full of delights. I'll do my best to not let you down. I can imagine a world full of joy. Just give me your hand and I'll teach you to hope. You'll find that I've something worthwhile. Just let me stay here and I'll love you forever. I promise a life full of Diana, higher! You're torturing me, Anne! Skill doesn't come without work. Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! <gasps> she can gloat. She gets lessons. At last, the irises are in bloom. The shame ugly weeds are choking them. Just like the weed growing on your head, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha. Very funny. Hey, Anne, look. Oh. Don't give them the satisfaction. Hey, hey, carrots. You hateful boy, how dare you! <gasps> 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 and Shirley. But Miss King, Gilbert called me carrots. That's no excuse for such a petulant attack. You are to spend your lunch hour weeding this garden and considering your temper. But, Miss King, you don't really mean I'm to pull out these lovely white flowers. They're nothing but ugly weeds, Queen Anne's lace. Otherwise known as wild carrot. <laughs> you watch it, Gilbert Blythe. You won't unroot me so easily. Oh, yeah? <sighs> I've got a plan. You just wait. Gilbert Blythe has hurt my feelings excruciatingly, Marilla. What has the boy done now? Wounded my pride and forced me to a terrible act of aggression. It will all be back to normal at school tomorrow. <sighs> One thing will never change, Marilla. I'm the only person in Avonlea with red hair. I'm tired of being different. Red hair covers your head as well as any other color. It's nice and long, which makes it versatile. <laughs> My dear brother, I told you to watch those strawberries at Sunday dinner. I tried to be careful. Mm. Pass me that lemon, will you? Look how white the shirt's getting. They're better in a pie, if you ask me. <laughs> what are you doing with those weeds in your lunch pail? They're not weeds, Marilla. They're Queen Anne's lace. A lovely name. But they don't belong in your lunch pail. We don't want them taking root at Green Gables. Off with them. Fine. The ugly elements, that is, the weeds and I, will be gone. Pretty weeds. I thoroughly agree, Matthew. In fact, henceforth, I shall call these weeds wildflowers. Well, now they look even better. They almost rescue your hair. You like it? You're on the right.
right track with this, uh, vegetation. Wildflowers, please. Call them what you like, but with a little ingenuity, you could make something out of them. Posies. And people would like them? Enough to trade them for something even more valuable. What? Well, how about a big, juicy lemon? Why, that's utterly inspired! I've tied them all up nicely. They'll sell like hotcakes. What beautiful raven hair! Why, thank you! You see that? He was rendered speechless at the shocking sight of my red hair. Oh, Anne, your flowers in my hair were probably what caught his eye. Ha! Still, as I improve these wildflowers with ribbon, I will improve on what nature has given me. How? All will be revealed, Diana. Come on. <laughs> Posies, nosegays, corsages, and my personal favorite, what I call... I call... Uh, hair bouquets! Yes, hair bouquets! Avonlea is certainly filled with customers desperate to purchase these beautiful wildflower arrangements. And such a good price! Yes, and all for one measly lemon. <laughs> it worked! Oh, Anne, you're a genius! <laughs> Did you see that? What? A stranger is in our midst. Now's my chance to make a good first impression. He'll never even know I have red hair. Hello to you, lassies. <gasps> oh, hello. I'm Stuart McPhail by name. An invitation to the Highland Games coming to Avonlea this weekend. The Highland Games? With the Highland Fling? Aye, Sunday night. With the best piper on the island. Peter Pan? I love this book. Aye. And the author, J.M. Berry, is from Scotland, too. Really? Have you ever met him? Oh, no. But we can talk about it when you come to the games. Could we have a dance lesson? Aye. Come by tomorrow afternoon. I plan to compete myself. Oh, brother. Let's see. I might toss the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Put the stone. Yeah. Whoa. Ugh. Or, or maybe something else. Maybe the hammer toss. <laughs> that happened to be youth champion. I'll say you are. I'll teach you tomorrow morning before dance practice. Why do they call it a hammer toss if there's no hammer? Uh. Huh? Don't be a dope. They call it a hammer toss uh, because... Uh... Well, that's what it's called. Gilbert, if you learn to throw hammers as well as you throw insults, you're sure to win a prize. See you tomorrow. <laughs> How romantic. A visitor from another country. I'm determined to make a good impression tomorrow. He seemed to like you just fine already. Only because he never saw my red hair. No, it's because you love books and you're smart. Did we get the red out? Not exactly. Oh, Diana, my hopes are dashed. Lemon may lighten strawberry stains, but it's no match for my red hair. And your hair is fine as it is. It's an oddity, Diana. I simply can't be seen at tomorrow's dance lesson with red hair. Ow! See? It's out to get me. <laughs> oh, Anne. There. It's perfect. Yick! You're going to get in trouble. This mop gives me lovely blonde locks, don't you think? You'll certainly make an impression. Yeah. 
Nice toss! I'll never learn. Oh, don't fret. Just takes time. You have big arms. I don't. Arms are nothing. Yeah. It's all in the legs. <laughs> what you need is a kilt. For good mobility. Kilt? Me? Aye. Give it a shot. <gasps> uh, I suppose it couldn't hurt. <laughs> Keep the lifted leg in line with the calf. Very good. Uh, this highland fling is hard, I'll say. You're doing great. Well done. Uh, it was originally danced after battles to celebrate victories. How dramatic. Soldiers dropping their swords to dance right there on the battlefield. Uh, well, not quite. Anyway, now we celebrate culture. What makes us different and special? I know all about being different. You've both learned so fast. If you come to rehearsal tonight, you could perform in tomorrow's finale. <gasps> perform? Us? Why not? Oh, how wonderful! <laughs> Marvelous! Now there's some fancy footwork. <laughs> <gasps> Gilbert, you're wearing a... a wig to cover your red hair? <laughs> I don't understand. Kilts? Red hair? What's so funny? Another failure. This calls for drastic measures. Now here's just what I need. He guaranteed that the dye would turn my hair a beautiful brown, just in time for tonight's rehearsal. It'll be hard to imagine you with anything but red hair. You'll soon forget what I ever looked like with red hair. Um, and brown or black, anything will be better than red. Anything. Anything? Anything. Tomorrow's dance rehearsal. Yuck! Oh, as much as I cursed it, I'd give anything for my red hair now. Imagine if I weren't homely and different. Imagine if I were beautiful. But what makes us different is what makes us beautiful. Dryad? How did you get here? I was led by the Plaintive sounds of a crying girl. Well, I, I just want to be like everyone else. <laughs> you think so? Dryad, do you think this dye disaster would have happened if I liked my red hair? Hmm. All right, then. Let me show you something. Come on! The fairy trio are practicing a new composition today. I think you'll find it quite interesting. That music is divine. Is it harp? You might say that. Come on! <gasps> but her hair, it's worse than mine. How can she make such beautiful music and have such ugly hair? Thanks to one, we get the other. I don't understand. Green's hair is what gives the harp such magical sounds. It really is sublime. I think she admires your hair. Really? Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, are, you, are you sure? The second member of the trio, the Gap Goblin, is warming up. How wonderful that he has those teeth. They help him make such marvelous music. Hmm. The Nose Nymph. Need I say more? They each have something that really makes them special. Mm-hmm. We fairies have always believed that it's a good thing that we're all different. 
That way, they can make such harmonious music. Just so long as the Smash Sprite doesn't show up. Uh, no. Oh. Can we please make this trio a quartet? Poor fellow. He's tired of playing in the marching band. Symbols or not, that was a wonderful concert. So, do you still wish you were the same as everybody? I suppose it's all right to be different. <laughs> I'll say! Till next time, Dryad! As for you, Anne, you'd better face the music. <laughs> That ought to do you. You should set up a business, Marilla. Oh. Matthew? Marilla? I was wondering when you'd show up. Ah! Oh. <clears throat> well, now that's a hairdo to beat all hairdos. I've made a terrible mistake, and now my life is over. Or at least until my hair can grow out again. You could always shave it. Matthew? I'm just trying to help. Right now, I'd give anything to have my red hair back. That might be arranged. Let's put you and your hair out of your misery. Oh. Fortunately, it's only a rinse gone bad, easily cured by a quart of vinegar. Whew, that's a great relief. So long as I don't end up smelling like a pickle. And why not take this opportunity to seal your lips and reflect on your actions in silence? You seem mighty quiet about your own hair-raising story, Marilla. Matthew, that's of no consequence. What happened? Marilla hated her own hair when she was a girl. Really? It was thick and curly, and I was very foolish. I ironed it. You ironed your hair? Yeah, the volunteer fire department still talks about the smoke. <laughs> oh, shush you. These days, all the girls want curly hair. Who knows? Maybe someday it will be fashionable to have green hair. <laughs> what notions you have, Anne. I doubt fashion will change that much. There's my red hair. I never thought I'd be so glad to see it. Hmm. Hooray, Stewart! Let's try tossing the sheaf. If you say so. Point your toes, Anne. Well, well. <sighs> if only I hadn't been such a fool and missed yesterday's rehearsal, then I might stand a chance of being in the performance. You're doing great. Just keep trying. Diana, I thank you for being such a good friend during my desperate episode. <laughs> your alabaster skin and raven hair don't compare to the beauty within you. Why, Anne? That's such a kind thing to say. Yes, it was rather poetical, wasn't it? <laughs> Come on, Anne, higher! Higher! Yay! You can do this, Gilbert. You have two more tries now. Oh, I can't do it. Did you know say you used to toss hay? Into the barn loft, sure. Then imagine you're in the barn. I'll try. You can do it. Into the loft. Into the loft. You can do it. <laughs> Oh, hi, old boy! I couldn't have done it better myself! Ooh. Rather a good old cake, don't you think? 
Of course, they're not as good as my family recipe. Love to chat, Hattie, but the bagpipes are starting. Bye-bye, Hattie. Stuart, I humbly apologize for my outburst yesterday and for missing the rehearsal. But I've practiced all day, and, and her extension is almost perfect. And so I wonder if I might possibly dance tonight? Well, give us a little step. Well, if the bonny lass can't he fling! Oh, hi! Seems you'd better join us for a spell. Oh, thank you! Hooray! <laughs> oh, this is great! <laughs> and Diana, I won the sheave toss! Congratulations, Gilbert. That's wonderful! You deserve it. You are right, Stuart. Strength isn't everything. Pitching hay must have taught me a thing or two. I guess wearing a kilt paid off, too. Looks like it did. Too bad about you, though, eh? Looks like you got your hair sunburned. Gilbert Blythe, your teasing can't upset me. I now appreciate that my red hair is a part of what makes me, me. I'll take my cap off to that. Why, Stuart? Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's red. Every hair, and I'm proud of it. And speaking of showing off, it's showtime. <laughs> Sure, Anne. She's full of surprises, that one. Look at Anne up there. She might not fit in, <laughs> but she sure knows how to stand out. Oh, what a perfectly magical day. You were quite a marvel on that stage. And all that red hair everywhere. Who would ever imagine? Are those some of your infernal weeds? Wildflowers, please. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. What a way with words you have. This Queen Anne's Lace makes me feel special. So long as you feel special, then everyone else will see you that way. Don't you two get sentimental on me. Stuart told me Peter Pan's latest story is in Kensington Gardens. I bet it's filled with wildflowers. Oh, and I'm a mite old for this. Peter Pan never grew old. Why should you? Peter Pan believes in fairies. <laughs> and so do I, Marilla. So do I. Weed-wearing, highland-flinging, green-haired fairies. Oh, hi. <laughs> 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 <laughs>